Hello everyone, in this video, I'll be sharing with you the latest feature in Google Scholar called Scholar Labs. Um, it's an AI powered scholar search where instead of using third party uh, software or application, you can quickly search for uh, you know, your scholarly articles using Google Scholar uh, Labs. Now, how do you do this? You can go to scholar.google.com and you will see the labs here. Or you can go directly to the link uh, scholar.google.com slash scholar underscore labs as shown here, right? So immediately you will be shown this kind of uh, interface where there are some example questions that you can ask. Technically speaking, instead of searching for keywords, you ask questions and what Google Scholar will do is it still lists according to the normal interface of Google Scholar. You know, you will have all the articles, but there will be additional uh, information down there that try to answer your question. So let me just put a question here. For example, um, has anyone researched uh, on AI and critical thinking? Critical thinking in Malaysia, for example. I want to limit to Malaysia, for example. So I just search Malaysia, uh, you know, as a form of questions. So instead of using all these fancy keyword combination whatsoever, you just use, um, how to put it, natural sentence or natural question. So you will see automatically it will try to answer your question by having additional input here. So one glance later on, you will be able to decide whether you want to go for this article or that article because it will summarize for you. Like in this case, you know, it, it says whether this particular article talks about AI and critical thinking and all these articles are based in Malaysia. How do you know? Because you can see from the author's name itself, these are Malaysian University. And University of Bangsa, Malaysia, and so on. So it's really, really good because you can quickly have a quick glance of all these articles without having to play around with too many uh, keywords because all you have to do is to ask the questions and you'll be able to quickly summarize for you and show you the top results. So it's still loading here. You can see it's evaluating um, the different results as we talk. And, uh, you know, I find this very handy. And you can even ask a follow up question like, which study uses experimental uh, design? Right? So, of all these articles that the uh, Google Scholar has indexed or has searched for you, you can ask follow up questions like, which study uses experimental design? And here you will go through again all these articles now that you have, uh, you know, the, the relevant one. And then from the relevant one, it will tell you, okay, this one designed an eight week intervention. So it's quasi experimental. And this one as well, quantitative experiment. So it's really, really, really good in kind of, you know, help you filter those unnecessary um, articles. So you can go on and on. And if any papers that you like to save, as usual, you just save it to your Google Scholar account and you can retrieve it from your library. Under your Google Scholar account, you should be able to see my library and in your own library and then you can't, uh, you know, save all these articles that you need. Okay, try it out because if you don't see this uh, Scholar Lab yet, you probably have to wait for a while because uh, Google is still rolling out to everyone. But once you have access to this, please try it out and let me know what you think about this. Happy trying.